Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here and I am back with my noobs guide for Dark Souls 3. Alrighty, well, I actually wanted to quickly do something here at Firelink. I'm gonna go and talk to Grey Rat because since I got that one bonfire at that new place, I can now send him to go and rob the place, but this is a little bit dangerous, so I'm gonna talk to him, I'm gonna send him, and I'm gonna talk about what you need to do to make sure that he will come back alive, because that is important. Basically, here's the trick. There's two ways that he can survive, and there's multiple ways that he can die. If you want the easiest way, all you have to do is to not buy the armor from Patches and give it to Sidworth. You can wait on that. And if you wait on that, once you tell him to go, you can come and talk to Patches, and Patches will basically ask you, hey, where did Grey Rap go? You might have to reload the area so that basically Grey Rap will go away. But yeah, he will ask you where, do you where did he go? You can tell him and then he will go and save him because he like owes him a favor or something like that. I'm not too sure. But that is the easiest way to save him. And the best way to actually get that to work is to go and complete Smoldering Lake. Or at least go and fight the boss there because once the boss is dead, you will be good. The other way is to give the armor to Sidworth. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. Because what you want to do is you want to give him the armor and then basically do the same thing. Don't go to the new place because if you encounter him there, that will mess it up. If you go to the dungeon there, that will mess it up. So, I would say the best thing to do is to go to Smoldering Lake and to defeat the boss there and he will survive and he will come back with all the goodies i think you can also beat the boss in the new place as well but not the one in the dungeon you don't want to go down to the dungeon because like i said that can mess it up if you gave him the armor and that's what i did in the last episode so all i'm gonna go do is basically go and complete smoldering lake and then once i get done with this area i should be okay because like i said i gave him the armor and he should actually rescue him otherwise he will die and sometime later i will point out where you can find his dead body if you unfortunately have him die because you can give his ashes to the merchant lady and then she will sell some of the goods that he was already selling but he won't have the new goods so that's something to keep in mind all right well let's go back to smoldering lake and complete this area and i will see you guys in a moment Alrighty, well I am here, and hopefully I will actually have Grey Rat survive. That's going to be the ideal plan for this episode, is to complete this area, and then to have Grey Rat be back at Firelink with all the new goodies. And I'm pretty sure that is the end of his quest line. once you come back and he is alive. You don't have to send him out anymore, and he's going to sell a whole bunch of good stuff. Basically stuff that you can farm for but you can just buy it which makes it a lot easier just to be able to buy that stuff than to actually sit there and farm for it for days all right gotta kill this guy real quick i don't think it matters on like how much time you take but right now i could just go and fight the boss here and i think that would basically complete the quest right now but i don't really want to do that i want to kind of complete this whole area because you know i want to save the boss for like the last little thing but you can go and fight that boss anytime you want. It's just like to the left of the lake area. Oh god. Now killing these guys. This is actually a really good idea. Because if you try to run past these fools. They will chase you and murder you so quick. So yeah. Now if you do die later. Which I probably will die along the way. I'm probably going to go ahead and run past them. But like I said. It can be kind of risky. And there's a lot of like fake walls here as well. So I need to find them all. Unfortunately, I am offline still, so that is something I have to kind of make sure that I don't forget about because I'm not going to have any, like, messages on the ground that let me know, hey, there's a fake wall here. Okay, watch out. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, we have these things. Ah, die. These are guys from Dark Souls 1, so, yeah, I'm pretty familiar with them. Okay, come here. Where are you going? Okay, I'm just gonna go get him. Yeah, freaking love this weapon so much. I also have the dark sword right now, which I could use a little bit, but I'm sure you guys don't want to see me just R1 spam like a beast. R1 spam all day. Although, I guess that's what I'm doing with my butcher's knife, so really doesn't make much of a difference, but whatever. Okay, I think there's a fake wall coming up right here. Oh, yeah. 
and there's going to be a Black Knight fighting an enemy over here. Rawr, go crazy on the Black Knight. Okay, so the Black Knight's almost dead. Let me block and try to get behind him. Whatever, he missed. And I did get the backstab. Nice. And he's a goner. Let's see what he drops. Oh my god, are you serious? I got the gauntlets and I got the freaking uh, armor. That's really cool. I'm going to maybe put that on. I don't know how much it weighs, but it should look pretty cool. Let's take a look. Yeah, it does look pretty awesome. Where is the Black Knight gauntlets? I'm overweight now. Oh, yeah, that looks sick. Unfortunately, it doesn't really go well with the helmet, I don't think. And, yeah, I'm good. Although, I do want to put the undead gauntlets on because they're meant to go with this armor. Otherwise... You, you will see your arms and shit. And because I'm hollow, ugh, it's nasty. Now, I really want to reverse that hollowing. I just don't want to do it too early. But coming up in a moment here, I'm going to pretty much mess up that quest line where I won't be able to get the ending. But I really don't want to get the undead ending. Although, I still need that for the trophy. Now, this part freaking sucks. There's a lot of ways to die right here. So, I'm going to try to be careful and just come up here because the right way to go is basically right to the left and there's like a whole bunch of enemies up here so watch out Urgh, die you piece of shit got one of them gotta watch out for that guy maybe i can get a plunge oh no i did not come on break that shield get that repulse oh damn it i'm assuming maybe if you are on yeah that's interesting if you are on steps you cannot get a repulse kind of like in bloodborne because I couldn't right there. Nice, got a large freaking shard. That is awesome. That's one of the best things about this place is the fact that the enemies can drop so many shards for you. Oh, well, hello. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Why would you heal? There was no reason for you to heal. You took no damage. Well, whatever. Okay, I'm going to come over here and I'm just looking around. There's a staircase and a big fuck over here too. Oh, God, man. This place... It's a nightmare. Now, one of the worst things here is there's lava and there's items that you can get. I'm going to try to get them, but I really don't know of a way to get them easily without dying. So, I'm probably going to die just trying to get those items. But I'll try to figure out a way if I can, but I just don't know right this moment. So, I'm sorry about that, guys. Pick that up. And, like I said, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Pick a dish up. And I think I'm missing something right now. Should I go down the staircase? I don't think this actually leads anywhere. This probably leads right behind, yeah, these enemies. Oh, God, these stupid fireballs that this guy makes. It's ridiculous. Can you come over to me so I can kill you? Oh, my God, these fireballs are insane. Come over here into the staircase, please. This would make it a lot easier to kill you. Oh, you're coming. Awesome. Oh, wow, you're hitting me through the wall, though. Not good. No, God, 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 no. Back up. Right. Oh god, that's gonna fucking kill me if it hits me. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm good. Okay, he hit me though. One more hit should do it. No, 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 no. Do not want to get hit by that fire whip. That fire whip will freaking murder you if it hits you. Alright, so give me that. Hopefully some of his shit will disappear. There's another one in this room. But I think there might be a couple items in here as well, so we need to watch out. Okay, he's coming after me. Great. Fantastic. Oh my god, stop throwing shit. Urgh. Go crazy. Ah, Back up real quick. Heal it up. Oh, fire whip. Not good. See, the problem is these fucking fireballs, dude. They freaking... They just stun you. And that's really the annoying part of it. Here, let me buff up real quick. Urgh. This way I can get a little bit of health back this way. Die, you piece of shit. It's actually kind of cool, like even when they're dead, as long as you're swinging, you will get a little bit of health back. That's really, really nice. Okay, there's an item down that way, and let me come over here. We got some stupid slugs. Ugh, fuck them. I don't think there's a reason to actually try to kill them right this moment. Nice, no, got a freaking uh, bone shard that will help. Need to definitely use that later. Now let me go get this item down this way. But I still need to go back up top. Wait a minute. Okay. This is not anything right here. I'm going to fall. And there's a giant rat down there. It's meant to be a trap. So I'm going to go back up top. And basically go 
over here for now but I still need to go back now where is this taking me actually I'm a little confused hello what's up here huh yeah there's a bonfire okay this is taking me to the very very top that's interesting I don't remember there being a bonfire right here actually who's this oh look at this it's that one guy cool okay I'm gonna go up here real quick just to see because I really don't remember that oh wow you know what oh never mind I am tripping I have actually been here this is right by the boss okay see so, yeah I was tripping a little bit let me go back now should I rest I don't think I'm gonna rest that's just gonna respawn all the enemies and I still have to explore a lot of stuff but let me see here basically I'm gonna go all the way over here and basically get the items that were over this way then I'm going to go the correct way because yeah I'm not interested in fighting the boss right this second there's going to be a bunch of enemies in here if I remember right oh god of course I aggro two of them not good let me back up let them come to me that's always a good strategy Urgh. thank god they stun fairly easily Urgh. die no die alrighty both of them are dead. They didn't drop anything, though, so that's kind of sad. And look at this fucking thing. Urgh, fuck you. All right, well, what's in here? I know that there's something. Oh, watch out. There's some shit on the ceiling here. Mm-hmm. It's a trap, a total trap. And this is actually where you can make a jump. It's stupid hard, but I already did it. So I'm just going to get the hell out of here because if you remember, I went ahead and I hit that fake wall. But that's the way to really get that shard. There's an SS shard over there. And you just want to use the fake wall. Because that jump, you can do it. But it's actually kind of difficult. And it's stupid because you'll probably die and shit trying that. Okay, so. This right here is kind of dumb as well. Watch out for the rat. Die, rat. But there's like a lot of little ways to go. And yeah, should be interesting. A lot of rats over here though. Basically, I do want to explore this whole freaking place. And I need to be careful because there could be a fake wall. I, in fact, I know there's a fake wall somewhere. This might be it right here. Yes, it is. Okay, now this is going to lead to something that is pretty cool. Check this out. So, this is that spider. And if you actually take a look at the pyromancy tome, you will see that it's uh, it has like the armor from the first game, from the sisters. Now, here's the deal. Like I said, this was the area that I was talking about that it's a total fucking bitch to get this shit. But from my experience, what I did the first time when I went through here was I just kind of chugged along the way. So it's like, just run, pick that up, and I'm dead. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. Ugh. God damn it. All right, so I'm gonna try this again now what I did was I went ahead and went through all my armors and I looked for all the armors that had a lot of fire resistance to it that way I can maybe survive longer as I run through this I'm also gonna use a pellet basically to give me a little bit more fire defense and then I'm gonna run I'm gonna chug gonna run gonna chug oh god chug again oh god okay come on come on come on come on one more chug get it get it get it chug again pick it up there we go now getting back this is the real fucking bitch of it because this is super risky double chug see what i'm saying about chugging along the way makes it easier oh god oh god oh god okay well i got it but yeah i almost freaking died along the way also the ring i forgot about that there's a ring that boosts fire defense as well so that would have been probably a lot better. Okay, well, I'm going to Homer Boner because I need my potions back. And I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, well, I am back. And I'm going to keep the armor on because I'm going to have to do that again, believe it or not. Okay, let me come down this way. I believe this is the way I need to go right now. There is another fake wall somewhere around here. I believe it's over by this rat. So let me go and take this guy out real quick. Hello. Die, you big motherfucker. There's an item you can get. I think it's over here by the wall. It's something like this. Oh, I found it. Okay, now there's a lot of rats. They're coming to get me. Ah, fuck you. You're stunning the shit out of me. Hold up. 
Back up. Oh my god, they keep respawning too. There's just too many rats. No. Okay, we're good. Let me take a look over here. Oh, look at that. We got to see the rat spawn. Interesting. Okay, well, let me go and get this stuff real quick because... Wait, gotta check it. Yeah, you never know. You never freaking know. All right, three large shards. Fuck yeah, this is another fake wall. And we can basically walk off right here, get this item, which is a staff. Fall down here, take these guys out. And there's more. Oh, God. Come on. Die. Damn. These guys actually have a lot of health. Holy shit. Okay, let me go take this one out. Fuck you. Don't curse me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think I have a pretty decent curse resist with this armor. It's pretty nice. Actually, it makes a lot of sense because I'm wearing, I think, that one dress from uh, Dusk. I don't know. That I know that in Dark Souls 1, that dress had a lot of freaking curse defense, that's for sure. And the rest of the armor is just basically random pieces of stuff. Okay, I don't think there's anything up there because that's the way I could have come down, but I took the fake wall instead. There's an item right here, which is a scale. Awesome. And I'm just looking real quick. But I think that does it for the fake walls here. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty confident that is it. Now down this way, this is going to take us up top, which is pretty freaking dangerous. But I do think that I will find the other fire path. Actually, I must have went the wrong way because there it is down there. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go back because I know that you can get access to that. In fact, there's an NPC you have to fight. It's like the real one. He's already invaded me, but you can fight the real one. In fact, this is the way you get down there. Okay, you just have to make a left right by the staircase. And I'm looking around right now. Be careful because this dude is a douche and he's really, really strong. Hello. Fuck you. Jesus, that hurts. Oh, God, that hurts. Okay, back up. This is freaking insane heal it up now this sucks because i'm probably not gonna have enough potions after fighting this guy fucking jesus so strong and let me guess you're not gonna stun easily god oh my god he two shot at me and he taunted what a dick Alrighty. well this should be pretty fucking annoying no oh my god that actually hit me Oh, if you would have killed me right away, that would have been terrible. Okay. I'm trying to get away from him so I can get some backstabs, maybe. But, God, he turns around quick. You gonna block, bro? That would be nice. Er, God, you can't guard that at all, and I'm fucking dead as shit. Jesus! Wow, dude. All right, well, I just thought of something. Let's do some strats. Maybe use the lava to our advantage. Let's go! Run, run, run! Heal! Heal! Okay, pick it up, pick it up. Now run! Heal! Oh, God! Fuck! Burn up, you bitch! Burn up! Burn up! Yeah! <laughs> okay, so... I don't know what I'm gonna do here about this guy, because he is really getting on my fucking nerves, and apparently he fucking responds, so... Maybe I can lure him up the steps and then give him some gravity. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, you don't want to come over this way? Come on. You know you want to come up here. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. No. Whoa, wow. That was kind of crazy. Okay, now how do I do this? Stupid ass Black Knight. I got to get my shit back, though. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fight each other, please. Fight. No, no, not me. Not, not me. Okay. No, no, no. You know what? I have another idea. New strat. Oh, they're fighting. Fight each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get his ass. Get his ass. Yeah, fuck him up. Oh, no. He's going to get racked, dude. No, no, no. Yes, Black Knight. Yes, Black Knight. Fuck him up. Murder him. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Now it's time to kill the Black Knight and hope that I don't get fucking killed in the process. All right, so new strat works pretty well. Yeah. Die, you piece of shit. Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. Okay. And I got another Black Knight armor. Cool. And there is the Fume Ultra Great Sword, which I could probably use if I keep leveling up my strength. So, I don't know. That is a weapon that is extremely powerful. I mean, it hits so freaking hard in this game. 
All right, well, let me go back. That was actually really amazing. I thought the fire strategy would work, but I'm assuming maybe because if I die first, then it doesn't count if he dies. It's kind of whack. Where is my shit at? Okay, good. It's over here. Let me pick this up. And now I need to get that item. That's actually a really good pyromancy over there. So I definitely want to get it. I'm going to ember so I have a little bit more health. And I'm just going to chug the potions along the way. Chug, lug, lug. Okay, let go, let go. Chug, lug, lug. Pick it up. Okay, come on. Chug, lug, lug. Double chug, lug, lug. Oh, God. One more chug, lug, lug. And get the fuck out of there. Okay, well, I only have four potions left because I need to chug again. But at this point, I can put my other armor back on. Thank fucking God. Because this armor is so fucking ugly. Hold up. Where is my good shit at? Now, I could technically go ahead and just say F it and Homer Boner, but I don't think I will just because it's not a big deal. I'm probably going to die, though, because this part is actually kind of difficult coming up here. There's a lot of bullshit along the way, but I am surprised that that Black Knight was able to whoop that motherfucker's ass, like, because I was so for sure that guy with the Fume Ultra great sword and on top of it he has a great shield i was so uh expecting him to win but i think it was really just a matter of the black knight hitting the guy first and he just kept knocking his ass down now i'm trying to figure this out I, if i remember right there might have been something up here like you can walk off or something although that would be death so i'm not too sure let me look around real quick is there anything oh yeah there is okay so there is an item that you can get. You just have to walk off for it. I kind of remembered something like that. So let's get it. Give me this. What is it? Nice. The Dragon Rider's bow. Awesome. I definitely need to go and upgrade some more weapons too. Because I do want to get my Dark Sword up to... I want to get it up to 6. Which I should call it the Dork Sword. Although right now people are already calling it the Dark Sword 3 because it's like so meta right now in pvp apparently and it's so easy to use and they're probably gonna nerf the fuck out of it which is kind of hilarious but you know how fromsoft is nerf all the things because people are going a bitch and they're going a bitch and they're going a bitch and no one's ever going to use a straight sword again because it's going to suck all right let's try to figure this out gotta watch out because there's gonna be that stupid fucking arrow shit coming and here it comes and this is gonna drive me fucking insane here now, I don't know if there's a way to actually operate that thing up there. It's like a catapult or something. I don't know if you can operate it because I heard you can use it to take out the worm, but I think what you can do with that is you can just stand by the worm and it will shoot and then it will take out the worm for you by it trying to take you out. So I'm not sure if that's how you do it or not. Okay, these bone wheels are pissing me off a little bit. Die, you stupid bone wheel. Okay, got two of them. Okay, come here, come here. Something just got dropped, so hopefully... Fuck you! God, these guys are still annoying as fuck in this game. Come here! Oh, and you fell off. Wow. Okay, let's see what this is. Nice! Okay, that's really crazy. I wonder how good that is, because in Dark Souls 1, that shit was really, really ridiculous. Now, this part sucks. Not these skeletons, but there's some skeletons coming up, and they suck, because they can murray you in like a second so be careful all right definitely want to aggro these guys one at a time if possible so hopefully i can just get one on me come get me one of you no 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 not both of you fuck this is not good one of you please yeah you 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 come here there you go there you go okay no 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 don't bleed me you motherfucker oh my god i hate these fox no am i dead i'm not dead I'm not dead yet, but I'm probably going to die. Oh, God. I'm alive. Okay, I just need to hit him once, and then I can fuck them up. God, stamina, please come back sooner. Die. Oh, my God. Okay, nice. I got a whole bunch of shit right there. All right. Because there are wielding showtells, I would probably say you do not want to go ahead and block against these guys. It's not going to work out well for you. Okay, go crazy. Back up. Okay. I hate the way they dodge, man. It's freaking crazy. And I should be able to get him. Got him. Pick that up. And yeah, this is the top part. So like I said, I'm not sure if there's a way to actually operate this goddamn thing or not. 
trying to see. Oh, I see. We can push this, which I think this might just turn it off. Uh, well, whatever. If it's off, it's off. I'll show you the way I kill the fucking worm. But like I say, I know that you can use this by at least standing by the worm. And if you stand there, the worm will pretty much get hit by the arrows and it will die. So that is an option. Now look at this shit. Hello. Fuck you. I'm assuming that this stupid thing is probably just automatic. But I think that's pretty much it. I can go and fight the boss now in this area. I'm just hitting these guys. Because I remember people were telling me in the comments of my Let's Play that I could use this to kill the worm. But... I didn't really know what they meant. Did they meant that I could come up here and somehow use it like from up here and kill the worm? Or did they mean just stand by the worm? Because I do know you can do that. I definitely know that you can stand by it and it will take some damage. But that thing is annoying and I'd rather take the damn worm out myself. And holy shit, I just took a lot of damage. But I need to get down and I also want to get to the bonfire, which is pretty much the first bonfire here is there an item up here maybe there's the crabs i'm gonna actually look real quick i don't see any items over there but i will check that out later drop down again any more items don't see nothing hello crabby okay now that's where the one guy was so it should be just over here and i will definitely go and take out the worm using my strategy because it's actually really easy if you just do it my way at least in my opinion but I guess you can always use the giant arrows to kill the fuck too. And like I said, if you can actually take a moment to look at the worm, it's pretty creepy. There's a lot of dead bodies in that motherfucker. It's really, really crazy. All right, let me come over here. Where is it? The bonfire. Get my potions back. And now I can go and do this. Oh, by the way, I equipped my old shield. I was going to do it to block against that one guy, but... Oh, that did not work. I mean, one hit from the guy, and he was breaking my guard. Freaking could parry me super easily that way. It was stupid. All right, let me come over this way. Anything over here? I don't think so. So now, let me rush the worm. Oh, God, here we go. Bring it on, worm. Now, the main thing about this fuck, just try to avoid him, like, totally. Because he'll come up, and he'll do his shit, and then he'll stop. And that's when you can basically attack them. Like, right here is good. But you only want to do a couple hits and then move away. Because, yeah, he'll hit you if you don't. Oh, watch it, watch it. Run, 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 run. And what I do is this. I stand, like, right here. Because he can't hit you from over here. And, yeah, he's just going to go under. He'll come up and he'll stop. And then you can just go in and get a couple hits in. And just keep doing that until he dies. Oh, my God. This motherfucker is scary. All right, he's about to stop here in a moment. I'm gonna stop for daddy. Thank you. Urgh, go crazy. Ow. Yeah, he's gonna do a little bit of damage if I go for four hits. Okay, in fact, I'm pretty sure I can rush him right here. He should be shooting. Yeah, he's shooting the other side. Urgh. Okay, move. Move, move, move. Get back. Oh, he's doing it again. How nice. See, it's kind of crazy how he always shoots that one way. Urgh. Die for me. Urgh, back up. Okay, he's almost dead. Maybe like one or two more times of hitting him. And he should be gone. And look, he's doing it again. How nice. Urgh. Come on, stamina. Come on. Urgh. Urgh, God. Okay, back up. You going to do it one more time for me, please? Come on. Do your thing. Oh, yeah, he's doing it again. Okay. Well, I kind of got lucky because this is, like I said, the best way to probably do damage to him. He should be dead. Why is he not dead yet? Oh, he's got like one hit left in him. I mean, he literally has a bee's dick of health. All right, come on. Oh, what is he doing? Okay, that seems odd. Is he dead? I'm super confused. Die! Okay, fuck, dude. Uh-oh, that's not good. That was not good. That was a weird attack he was doing there. Okay, come on. There you go. Lightning. Now die. Okay, he's dead now. I think. And I'm pretty sure he does drop some goodies. Oh, he did. Nice. I got a bone shard. So that's like plus six. I need to definitely go back to Firelink. 
And the shield of one. Now that's a really good shield. You can't parry with it, but I'm going to equip it to be quite honest. I don't really need to parry with it. It has a hundred percent physical reduction on it, which is nice. And it has good defense overall for like everything, including magic. But the main thing about this shield that's like freaking insane is that you can get more souls when you kill enemies. So I really, really like that a lot. And I would definitely recommend trying that out if you guys want. Okay, let me come up here because I think there might have been an item. But I think I'm also going to rest the bonfire here. Okay, yeah, there's no item. But I will rest the bonfire just in case I die to this boss. Although I doubt it. And I could summon this fuck over here, but I'm not. He would probably make this boss fight, like, super freaking easy. He definitely reminds me... You know, in fact, he's wearing the same armor, so he's definitely the guy. But, um... He's pretty much, um... What was his name? Tarkus? It's like Iron Tarkus from the first game. And that motherfucker was always, like, brutal as hell. Like, just... Oh my god. Just could solo the boss for you. And I'm assuming he could probably solo this guy for me. Alright, let go. Now this boss is a little tricky, I guess. I mean, it's not hard, but I'm not going to like... Oh god, okay, I need to get away. Let me get away. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. My bad. Let me get away from him real quick. But the reason why he's tricky is because he's going to have like some AoE attacks that can be kind of annoying. But overall, he's not like fucking hard or anything. Just try to stay under him like any big enemy. Try to avoid his hits. And I wouldn't really recommend blocking against him. I'm sure you can kind of block. Oh my god, you bastard. But those AoE attacks, those are the ones that suck. Because since you want to get close to him like I'm trying to right now. Oh my god, I couldn't freaking dodge that move. Okay, let's get close. Because then you just kind of go crazy. And there's certain attacks that he'll do. And you can do, like, a bunch of damage to him when he goes for certain attacks. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna freaking get murdered here because I ran out of potions. And he's just going crazy on me. Oh my god! Okay. Fuck. That did not work at all. Alright, well, let me try this again. This time I don't get any free damage. Now that would be the best attack to probably go in and get a lot of damage on him. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know like what triggers that. Maybe range? Hard to say. I normally aim for the tail though when I fight this guy. Just so watch out for that stupid AoE shit. And of course fire resistance here would be kind of good. Okay, he's not attacking which is odd. Oh, AoE. See that's the shit that's annoying because then you gotta back up and heal. Okay, come on, let go. No! Thank god that missed. Yeah, do that. Thank you. No, 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 no. Go crazy on his tail. You can't, like, chop his tail off or anything. I think this is a big attack here, yeah. You definitely want to back up for days for this one. Yeah, there you go. Now, I think the fire goes in and then it comes out? I believe. Yeah, it comes back out, so... Fuck, this guy's actually really cool looking, I gotta be honest. He pushes you though. That's the fucking annoying part. Ugh. See, when I stay under him like this, I can fuck his shit up pretty well. Okay, watch it. He's gonna go for an AoE attack. Okay. Oh, God. That's kind of random how that works because it looks like I should have been hit right there, but I wasn't. Interesting. Okay, swing. Oh, God. Okay. Ow. That's not good. Alright, well, let me try this again. Let me go get my shit real quick. Ooh, fucking lava? Shit! I have never seen that attack from him before. I need to be careful here. I don't want to get hit. But that would probably be a really great way of getting a lot of free damage on him. Oh my god, I hate that stupid attack. Yeah, there you go. Let's go. Rah! Try to get behind him. Maybe one hand he might be better. I'm not sure. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a little bit faster, or the Dark Sword would probably be really good for damage here. Urgh. I don't know how easy it is to stun his ass, but yeah, it's really just those AoEs that are fucking annoying. Okay, back up. Let him swing. He's going to do a second swing here. He always does. Now we can rush in. Urgh. Do some damage to him. Back up. Watch it. Watch it. Couldn't get back. 
Okay, what's he doing? I think he's buffing right now. Whatever, I don't even care. I'm just gonna go in for damage. Fuck you, asshole. Oh, okay. Yeah, this attack sucks too. It's meteors from the sky, and it hurts. Fuck off. He's doing it again now. Fuck. Okay, just gotta keep moving, basically, when he does this. And you shouldn't be hit by any of that shit. Okay, now I'm gonna go in for some damage. Fuck you. Go for that tail, baby. Let go. No, 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 no. I'm gonna just circle him. Try to stay under him if I can. Okay. Uh, I hate these AoE attacks. They suck. What I really need is I need some more health. Okay, watch out. This is another AoE attack he does. Let me try to avoid that. Normally, it comes... Actually, no. That was the one he's been doing. But it does change. I know that it can come out and then go back in or something like that. Okay, fuck you, asshole. Alright, all right, he's going for it. So what this normally does, it goes in and then it comes out. Yeah, there it is. It goes in, then it will come out. So just get away from it because if it hits you, it's going to knock you down. Alright, and he will come over here to me. So that's good. Oh, wow, that hit me? He's almost dead, so I should be fine. Just tanking his ass. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Oh, I can get a repulse on him probably. If I can get over to him. Whatever. I don't care, he's dead now. That was a weird attack. Maybe that was like his last ditch effort to kill me. Interesting though. I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, I don't think so. But... Gray Rat should be back, so I'm gonna go check that out, and if he is back, then I'm gonna pretty much call it a quits for this episode, because that was the ultimate goal, was to try to just have him survive, and to, of course, complete this area, which I'm pretty sure I did everything here that I could possibly do, but you guys can tell me if I missed anything, I don't really know, sometimes you can easily miss stuff. Alright, well, let me go back to Firelink Shrine and check this out. And I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, well, I'm here. Let me go and see if Grey Rat's here. And if he is, that's fantastic. I'm going to see what he's selling to because on my first playthrough, he died. Oh, yep, there he is. Okay, hopefully he has actually done his thing. And yeah, he did because he's saying that they are both safe, meaning two people. And I'm assuming he's talking about, what's his face? Sidworth. All right, let's take a look. So he's selling some Twinkling Titanite and some Titanite scales, which is cool. He should have a bunch of new weapons for me as well, which is awesome. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, like this, for example. He has a whole bunch of cool stuff with him right now. Hell yeah. Oh, and he's got some of this as well. Fuck yeah. Moonlight arrows? That is awesome. Okay, well... I'm really glad he survived, and I guess he sells unlimited repair powder. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. But like I said, that's how you basically keep him alive. You have two options, either Patches or Sidworth. Sidworth is a little bit more tricky because it's best just to do Smoldering Lake after you give him the armor, because then uh, you will never encounter him in the next place. If you go to the next place, you have to kill the first boss there. You cannot go to the dungeon. That's the important part. And you do not want to talk to Sidworth when he's there. Because I think you can find him in some kitchen or something. I don't know. We'll see about that. Anyway, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future Dark Souls 3 videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace! So